proof, yo. We gotta get this documented. No, no, we gotta show you. Look, we're a product of the seller. Sell on my body. So the story of Maxwell goes like this. It goes all the way back to 2008. I lied, 2007. We had a substitute teacher one time. And so the substitute teacher was taking names. My friend Ricky, God rest his soul, he passed away recently. He told the teacher his name was Maxwell. So he misbehaved the whole day. Name was on the list. When boy got, uh, when our teacher came back the next day, he's reading off the list of people misbehaving. Maxwell was on there. And he's like, who the heck's Maxwell? He found out that it was Ricky. So my friend Denzel, who I started off making music with, ended up, um, he ended up uh, liking that name. So whenever he, we, me and him were together and we met somebody new, we'd introduce ourselves as Maxwell, whoever got to say it first. But as years went on, I kept that name and it started to define like my devious, cheater, liar, fuck boy side you know and um it became a an identity for me i'm a gemini so i kind of have two personalities so you know i was a wild person moving forward i met this girl who kind of influenced my music a lot you know from world tour war boy and beyond you know the idea of maxwell spawned from years ago started on the dover street project and then transpired all the way up to here but through this relationship with this girl that is intricately detailed through the songs and then the visual aspect of it is explained as well we ended up uh having such a toxic relationship but it showed all my faults as a person so that relationship helped me then kill off who was maxwell so my ep is called death to maxwell How does it feel to be a dumbass? <laughs> Answer my question. I can't walk straight. Cause you're a dumbass. Wearing, look at your fucking outfit. This is trash. It's trash. <laughs> I'm going back in the car. No, you're coming in and we're having a good time.